This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Kia ora, good evening. Welcome to the South today. I'm Daryl Baser. The COVID-19 pandemic alert level has been at the highest level of level four as of 11.59 p.m. last Wednesday night. Things are changing for New Zealand as the global pandemic continues to spread. The South today isn't immune to the issues facing the nation as we all band together to stop the spread of the COVID-19 coronavirus. We at Allied Press thank you for your viewership and understanding at this time as New Zealand joins the rest of the world in doing everything possible to reduce the impacts of the virus. Dunedin people are joining the race to make protective gear for essential workers around the country. While masks are being churned out of factories across the nation, a group of Dunedin people are banding together to make face shields. Across Dunedin, groups of 3D printers are furiously buzzing away, making face shields for healthcare workers. And we have a number of uh, Dunedin businesses, and, and nationwide businesses in fact, have come on board to help produce these as quickly and efficiently as possible. Uh, I'm working in particular with architect Van Brandenburg at the moment, who are uh, trying to supplement all the, all the printing as well as uh, work with the laser cutting. Kia Russell says the team effort also features people from Dunedin's education sector and everyone's banding together for the greater good. Uh, there are others in the city. The Polytech are uh, working on uh, their own uh, project to supplement what we're doing and, and we're really um, just encouraged to see the number of people who are coming out and, and giving their expertise to try and make this work. Face shields are an important part of the protective gear for those in the front line of the fight against the COVID-19 coronavirus. Keir Russell's encouraging people on the front line to get in touch with those coordinating the effort via their websites. Shieldsup.org.nz and Project Face Shield New Zealand, they're both worthy, uh, worthy groups and in the uh, southern region in particular you'll find that there is a Shields Up Dunedin group who are um, trying to facilitate everything for the southern region at the moment. Along with these face shields, the government recently announced a factory in the North Island is producing thousands of face masks as the nation joins together to fight the COVID-19 coronavirus. In Dunedin, the South today. A hostel in Queenstown has implemented stricter lockdown measures after police were called after reports of a large party at the weekend. Police visited Deco Backpackers in Lake Street yesterday, where 60 people were said to have held a party, and spoke to occupants about the Level 4 requirements. These are believed to be some of the people involved in an alleged mass party at Queenstown's Deco Backpackers at the weekend. Speaking at today's daily coronavirus news conference, Police Commissioner Mike Bush says they're aiming to educate people like this. I think we're better to give advice and actually get out there and intervene and educate those people in the first instance, but people who are tourists must know that they cannot drive around the country from destination to destination. I had it uh, recounted to me a few days ago, someone travelling um, from Tauranga for work purposes, you know, they couldn't move on the desert road for camper vans. That's got to stop. We will be out there, uh, we will be educating in the first instance, but I appeal to those tourists, stay where you are, that's the rules. Commissioner Bush says as there are about 60 people there, the event is clearly in breach of the lockdown rules. As New Zealand is currently at the highest pandemic alert level, people are meant to be isolating in small family bubbles to hopefully break the spread of COVID-19. In Dunedin, the South today. And now time for a look at the weather. Tonight's weather proudly brought to you by MolMap. Beginning with the situation, high pressure starts to move away into the Pacific and a period of warmer winds is set to arrive over the region for the next few days. Some cloud will remain on the Otago coast, but expect plenty of sunshine inland. 
In the southern towns, Balclutha, the Catalans, Lumsden and Gore can all expect moderate northeasterlies and some cloud. The Catalans aims for 15, while Balclutha, Lumsden and Gore are all heading for 16 degrees. Heading westward to the central lakes, Queenstown, Wanaka and Alexandra are all in for light winds and some high cloud, with 18 degrees. Tiano is set to be slightly chillier with freshening northwesterlies, cloudy skies and 15 degrees. Heading north, along the coast, Timaru and Wamaru are due for moderate northeasterlies, cloudy skies and 15 degrees, while inland Twizel and Omarama are in line for light winds, fine weather and 19. In Dunedin, it should be overcast with breezy northeasterlies tonight and an overnight low of 12 degrees. Mostly cloudy tomorrow, with a few sunny periods developing in the afternoon. A high of 14 and a low of 12. Low cloud clears for a time on Wednesday, with long sunny periods during the day. A high of 15 and a low of 10 degrees. Fine and cool tonight in Invercargill, with a low of 4 degrees. Becoming milder tomorrow with moderate northerly winds developing, expect a high of 16 and a low of 7 degrees, meaning you could have a slight touch of frost in very sheltered areas. Mostly fine with high cloud on Wednesday, with moderate northerly winds, a high of 17 and a nippy low of 9. And that's all from the South Today team for this Monday. For the latest news from the southern region, head online to odt.co.nz and follow Channel 39 on Facebook. Stay tuned for the latest update from the government after this. Have a great evening, stay calm during the pandemic, don't travel unless it's absolutely necessary, and look out for your friends in Fano. Ka This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.